Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to create automated tasks in your Zoho CRM system. So once we log into our Zoho CRM system, of course we'll come to the home screen. From here we want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So we'll go to the cog and then we want to go to automation. From automation we've got both, both parts we're going to be using, actions and workflows. We're going to start with actions and then we're going to create a workflow. So we'll head over to actions and then we want to go up here where it says email notifications and tasks and we want to head over to tasks. We then want to press the blue button which, which, which says create task to create our new task. And then we are on the new task page. We want to then select the particular module that this uh, task is going to apply to. So I think in this instance, uh, we're going to use leads, but as you can see, you've got all the modules inside the Zoho CRM system. Um, you can then create a subject for this particular task. So you can say email, send letter, product demo. Uh, we could email, and then if we want to use the hashtag, we can also add additional fields or fields from that lead form into the subject. So that's really clever. So if we went email and then first name, so um, the task would then say email and then the first name of that particular lead. So that's really useful. We can also set the due date, um, which, which can be defined by different parameters, trigger date, created time, modified time, last activity time and unsubscribe time. So we'll say modified due date created time. So we select due date created time plus two days. Um, status, we can also assign the status of this particular task, uh, not started, deferred, in progress, completed, or waiting on someone else. Uh, obviously you can decide which status is most applicable to your particular task, but in this instance, I'm just gonna use not started. Um, priority, we can set the priority to high, highest, low, lowest, and normal. Again, this is up to you. I'm going to select high, leave it there. We can also assign, well, obviously we need to assign the task to a particular user. Now we've got two options. We can either assign the task who, to a set user, one particular user inside the Zoho CRM system, and we can just select them, and then every time this workflow is triggered, that and the task is created, it will always be assigned to that particular user. However, if we just leave that blank, um, and as it says here as well, if you do not assign the task to the user, it will automatically be assigned to the record owner, which would probably make sense in most instances. And um, we can also select these two buttons, notify assignee and remind assignee. So we select notify assignee. Can also say that we would like them to be reminded and then we can say that we'd like them to be reminded one day two days up to weeks before or on the same day at a particular time we can also decide the alert mode so are they alerted through email or are they alerted through the pop-up unfortunately we can't do both and then finally we can add a description so we could just say uh, in this instance I'll put this is a test and then you, again you can use your hashtag and add relevant information from a field as you so wish so we then need to just save this task and it's created email leads dot first name so that's the subject header and essentially the name as well we then need to go over to the left under automation and go to workflow rules and select work, workflow rules and from here we need to create a new rule so press press the blue button and then we need to select the module so our task was for leads so we're going to use our leads and um, so bear that in mind and then rule name leads test uh, obviously that's just a name like the names on the left here and then we press next and then we need to start selecting parameters so when do you want to execute this rule do we want this rule executed when a lead is created, created or edited, or just edited? We're gonna leave it as created for the time being. And then we can decide on our conditions. Now, we can either have leads matching certain conditions or we can just have this uh, workflow applied to all leads. If we wanted to match to certain conditions, we can select the conditions. Um, and obviously these are all the fields inside of that, inside of a lead form. So let's say we chose annual revenue uh, and we could have equals greater, uh, smaller than 
uh, equals or less than, greater than, equals or greater than. And then let's say we wanted to do 10,000. So annual revenue is greater, equal to, or greater than 10,000. We can then press next. And then we just need to assign that task using the instant actions and press task. And then we should see it here. Email, the lead first name. And then we just need to associate that particular task with the workflow and press associate. And then just press save. And there you have it. The, uh, the workflow is automatically live, as you can see. If you want to turn it off, you just change the status and then press deactivate now. However, this is now good to go. And every time that a lead within, uh, with revenue of in, in excess of 10,000 is created, a new task will be created to email that particular lead. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create automated tasks in your Zoho CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. Uh, my details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.